Tau versus Sororitas. Plasma versus Prometheum. Greater Good versus the Emperor's Holy Wrath. Whose dogma prevails? This is 40K in 40 Minutes, Sister Act 40,000, The Fish of Fury Fry Up. <music> Greetings, 40K fans. Your host, JT, the voice play on here. And do we have a treat for you? Bricky is in studio today with his sisters to play Taunik in what promises to be a slam bag knockdown drag out of a match. Taunik is back to his roots as an agent of the greater good, bringing back a classic list in what was once known as the Fish of Fury. He's looking to sweep some sisters from the sector too sweet. Hello everyone, my name is Bricky and I am joined here with Play on Tabletop in the beautiful sunny world of Canada today away from my home in California to play my favorite faction in all of 40k, the Sisters of Battle. Bricky isn't necessarily known for his Warhammer content, however, he's a big fan of the lore, the setting, as well as the game, and he's created his own universe on YouTube where you can watch him play all the games and do all of the things. His Adeptus Sororitas looked to roast some Tau in holy fire in the Emperor's name. Sisters are one of my favorites just because of the absolute amount of shenanigans they bring to the table. If I need dice to be replaced for any kind of random miracle, I've got it. A hammerhead shot me and I need a spike and immediate six up invul, I've got it. Berkey's got two Canoness, one with saintly example and the other with litanies of faith, an Imagifier, Junitharita, a Palatine with the blade of St. Eleanor, and St. Celestine. He's got three Battle Sister squads, a dedicated transport in his Sororitas Rhino, two squads of Arco Flagellants, a Dominion squad, an Exorcist tank, three Mortifiers as individual units, three Penitent Engines as individual units, a squad of Sisters Repentia, two squads of Retributors, both with multi Meltus, Seraphim squad, and a Vindicare Assassin just for the extra shooty shooty bang bang. I'm here because you, fans of Play on Tabletop, have requested that I come out of here and play a games, and you reached out to me and I said, of course, obviously, and I get to play Tau Nick. He likes Tau, I've been told. Hey folks, Nick here, and we are playing another game of 40K, and I am back with my Tau. So far, I've done really well with my Tau in 10th edition, but I'm up against a new opponent, one that I've never played before. Nick counters with three Kadra Fireblades, a commander in a Crisis Battlesuit, a commander in an Enforcer Battlesuit with the Exemplar of the Kalyan, an Ethereal with Through Unity Devastation, a Firesight Team with Precision of the Patient Hunter, and of course, my favorite, your favorite, Long Strike. He's got three Breacher teams and a Strike team, and three Devilfishes for those Breachers, hence the Fish of Fury. A squad of broadside battle suits, some Crisis battle suits, a Skyray gunship, stealth battle suits, a Sun Shark bomber, and two Tetras. I'm a little worried about his walkers. Those Pentant engines, I don't really have a great answer to them, and especially in close combat. If he gets in, whatever he gets into will be dead. I really don't have another option, so I've got to shoot him before they get there. Hammerheads and broadsides to the rescue. So my game plan is very simple. It's oops, all war crimes. Sisters, really good at that stuff. I flew an entire country away, specifically to teach the Tau that they are not made in humanity's image. And ah, I can't wait for that. Today's mission is sweeping engagement, so we're going to be using long edges with an angle deployment. Special mission rule is Vox Static, so two command points for rerolls and for new orders. And the ritual mission. Players are going to be responsible for placing their own objectives in no man's land in order to score their points. As for secondaries, tactical, every day. It's more fun. It's apparently better, but I don't really care about that. Drawing and the aspect of randomness is fun, so tactical it is. Welcome to the studio. Welcome here. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm excited to kill some sisters. Oh, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Celestine and the Seraphim are going to be in deep strike and all six of the engines are in reserve. The Repentia are going to go into the Rhino. The Arco Flagellants are also going to go into the Rhino. The Breachers are in the Devilfish three times. Crisis suits and Enforcers in deep strike. And the Crisis Commander is in reserve going solo. Who's that? Who's deploying first? All right. Looks like it's me. In a move to shock the world, the Exorcist is going behind line of sight. Devilfish number one. 10 Battle Sisters, and possibly, just maybe, a character to go along with them. A Canoness, one might say. You know what? Let's keep it things interesting and go Devilfish number two. Ooh. More Battle Sisters on the line. 
Another devil fish. Wow, on, on the, the line. line. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking in my jorts. This is a squad of Dominion sisters. Tetras would like to go down and they'd like to hide way back here. Taking a look at deployment here, and suddenly apparently in neither player's dictionary, both players are deployed pretty much on the line. Both of them seem to be chomping at the bit, or perhaps bubbling at the gills, to get to grips with the enemy. This is going to be, and say it with me now, an absolute, absolute slobber knocker. Thanks, team! Whoa! Right here, we've done... Perchance, is that on the line? <laughs> no. Now it is. <laughs> Broadsides. And then I've got one last unit to place down, and that is my fire sight. No. Nope. Fire. No. Nope. Blight. Fire tight. Dire fright. My yes. Here. As you see, look what I did. All right, let's do it. Drones what? have no purpose anymore. Are those each of his shots? Yeah. What? Bring it! Come on. Oh, Joe, it's out of the box. Oh, oh, oh. oh! What was that about rolling sixes? Yeah! Let's go. Faith, I have been rewarded. This episode is brought to you by our friends at GameMat.eu. GameMat.eu makes fantastic mats and amazing terrain ready to go right out of the box. No painting, no nothing. Just unpack it and play. But that's not all. They also carry a full line of other tabletop games, including a full line of Games Workshop product. They also ship worldwide, so you can build the battlefield of your dreams with just a few clicks. Now, back to the action. Thank goodness, first turn. I needed that really badly. Tau, shoot really hard. I deployed on the line, mainly for my own gusto, but um, <laughs> that may have been a mistake. So thank goodness for that. Emperor, Emperor truly, faith, reward it. So first things first, we have a six inch scout move because the Palatine is combined with a group of Dominions. Let's get them moving. Start of Bricky's turn one, and he's got himself two Miracle Dice, both sixes. Oh boy, here we go. He's drawn Air Denial and Cleanse and gets an extra command point from Judith Eureta. Movement phase, aggression continues to be the key to Bricky's tactics here. He's absolutely advancing as far as he possibly can. He's moving up into position to ritual and to drop another objective. My main goal is to move all the infantry into all the little nooks and crannies that go on with the entire map. The whole reason for this is not only to try to get up to some objectives, place my own objectives, for the ritual, but also to funnel all of his units into firing lanes for me, because I have a ton of reserves, and they can easily torch the infantry. Judith and her friends will be placing down an objective at the end of the turn right here. The Rhino will begin its firing directly upon thine devilfish. Thine devilfish. Thine devilfish. And a Rhino shall lead them. Five wounds to the devilfish, and a Melta shall finish it off. Nope! We will now fire oh, no. the beautiful Melta squad right here. All the Meltas in the Dominion squad need to kill this Devilfish now, because we need to blunt the movement of the Tau. Melta squad now, using a Miracle Dice to hit for sure, wounds into the Devilfish, does seven damage, and it's dead. And the Devilfish explodes, oh no! Oh, no! no! My Devilfish has exploded in my backline. I love this for how cinematic it is, but I hate it for how much it kills my guys. And on the Hammerhead, Long Strike takes one mortal wound, my infantry right here take. One mortal wound. Lastly, my tetras take. Two mortal wounds. Nothing! That was an yes. incredible roll. Excellent. I'm not gonna give you an easy charge here. And another miracle dice for a six. This is fantastic for Bricky. What a start. This squad of girls will begin firing upon thine devilfish. Some more melt of madness and a cherub reroll for a one. That makes a six, three, and a one on his miracle dice. Seven wins remaining over here. Seven more bolt guns. Quick, give me them threes. And we're aiming for sixes. Full saves? Full there? saves. Down to six. Exorcist it will begin her firepower. Here comes the organ gun. Gotta love it when the church starts firing melt a gun. How much damage does it do? <laughs> oh, you uh, has not <laughs> used it yet. Uh, <laughs> oh, six damage. That goes another devilfish down. Heavy bolters yeah. into a devilfish. Oh. I will uh, intentionally fail a single one of these for a one. Cherub. Cherub to get a new one. Because this squad is uh, wretched beers, they reroll ones to wound. So in a sense, I'm not losing anything. Fives. Rerolling the one, and then we'll reroll that other one from the Miracle Dice. Save two of them. And we will see what our new Miracle Dice may become. A four. I will fire upon him. Yes. Once. 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 No, oh, we knew it was gonna happen! Yes! Turn yourself back in shame. 
charge oh, phase. Oh, yeah, what are you gonna charge? What a nine inch charge we have here. Nick's spending his command point here on photon grenades to make that charge a little bit longer, and it fails. All right, I believe my turn is done. I'd say pretty eventful. I do place a new objective right down there. Yeah. End of the turn, solid start for him. Best way to keep Tau from your face is to shoot the transports. How's Nick gonna respond? Nick up to a command point, Bricky D3, and Nick's pulled behind enemy lines and a tempting target. That tempting target is a little bit tough to get. I'm gonna have to sacrifice a unit of breachers. Is five points worth a whole unit of breachers? It is if I can really damage his squad there, so let's find out. And that means numerical dice. No, it doesn't! <sighs> Don't get a six, don't get a six, don't get a six. A three. Okay, we're gonna start by moving this devilfish up. Nick really needs to be mindful of close combat with the sisters. He has to plan his marker lights here, as well as his guiding of units to maximize his effectiveness. My strike team is just gonna move over a little bit, just enough to still hold the objective, but be able to offer supporting fire. Advancing devilfish with a foal. Ooh. Which means I get all the way over here. All the infantry are gonna get out. Cannon giving squad full rerolls will overwatch those mid objective breachers. Takes Bricky down to two command points. Multi melter. Two shots. That's one six. Three. No. Oh, my faith is being tested. Get out of here. My faith. Wounding on fours. Four ups. What? You've killed three. You know, in a sense, that's probably statistical. And then lastly, my stealth suits are gonna move their eight inches, putting them one inch away from putting an objective nine inches away right here. In the shooting phase, these guys right here are gonna put down the ritual. Long strike starts the joy. No, because it's a two. Right, would <gasps> you? But what, what happened when you wound? It's a five. Oh, it hits. My faith in the God Emperor, truly. Did you see the stakes? You saw it happening. Please yes. roll. Okay, how much damage? Oh boy. CP rerolls only one CP, right? Nope. Oh, and this mission, it's two. It's two. I am down to three. All right, then I have two one-shot secret missiles. Fours. To wound. Five up. Oh, don't roll a one, my friends. Four damage. He's done it. Finally, the rhino's down, and a third three for the miracle dice. The arcos. Come on out. Their programming is ready for problems. It was a pleasure to know you. Breachers are gonna be guided by this unit of Fire Wars. 30 dice. Ah! I will wound you on twos as well. Oh dear. Minus one. You know, the Palatine lived. That's fine. We had faith in one person survived. Because we get Miracle Dice. A one. So the rest of the strike team that can see the one unit might as well fire. Ooh. And wounds you three times. Three up it is then. <laughs> I believe you got a miracle dice for that one. I wish I did. <laughs> We're going with these breaches right now. Wonderful. And they're going to be supported by this devil fish. You dare fire upon my pulpit. Rerolling one. Three ups. We make two. Don't. Twos now. Don't. Don't. We lost another threes. Now fours. One, two, three more. So that means we lost six girls in total. The cut of fire blade also fires into that unit. Wounds you twice, no minus. Bricky spins his cherub to turn the three into a five and using Rejoice the Fallen for a command point down to two to shoot back at Nick. Fours. Hoorah! We had a multi melt that wounds on threes, however. So there's one at AP four. Yeah, let's take one guy off. Yeah. And then D6 shots with a flamer, but minus one because of you with twin linked. One more dead breacher. Fire Saint Marksman is gonna guide my breachers in firing into this sister squad. I am going to pop my cannon S's two up in Ha ha ha! Hitting on twos, please. Hoorah! Faith in the Emperor, guide my hand. Cannon S, two up invul save. We're good. Rejoice, sisters. You join the Emperor in light. And you get a miracle dice. Okay. A one. Three shots from the Cutter Fire Blade. But luckily for me, I have a two up invul. We're good. All right, what's well, time for a railgun to kill her? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so these stealth suits are going to spot these guys and guide the broadsides. Hurrah! Hit them all. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Suits. Oh, dang. It's a two, so four wounds at minus four. Does that mean we might end up getting sixes for my invul save? Because the light of the emperor? No, we don't. Miracle Dice pops a cherub, turns a Miracle Dice from a one into a one. <laughs> That's not all she wrote, because I also have four drones there, all with missiles. Ooh. 
I mean, it's four dice. If I roll a single one, that's all she wrote. That dead squad gives up a five on Miracle Dice. Bricky now has a five, two fours, two threes, and a one, and another one for the Miracle Dice pile. The last unit I have to fire is my Sky Ray. Tetra's right here. They're gonna support the Smart Missile System. So far, three is to wound. Here, let's just roll them up and see what we get. And then his three Secret Missiles from a Secret Missile Whack. Yes. All failed hit rolls. They hit once. Good for a four up invul save. We do not. At the end of my turn, these guys right here, they did not shoot. They will put down an objective. Indeed. Nick manages five points for tempting target, discards behind enemy lines for a command point, goes to two command points to Bricky's one. Bricky still has airy denial and cleanse, so he doesn't have to draw. Did I do enough? We'll find out, because there's a lot of ladies that are very angry with my guys. There's a lot of things coming in now. And there's a lot of fire we're about to bring. Oh, by the way, did I tell you my fire, my flamers are strength six? Start of his turn two, his miracle dice now, he's got a one, two threes, two fours, a five, and a six. Three command points for Bricky and three command points for Nick, five to nothing in Nick's favor. I am declaring this beautiful Palatine to make her way up. Overwatching some sisters is Tau Nick. I'm not sure it's the best choice, but it definitely is one. He's down to two command points. You know what happens when someone dies, right? I spend one CP for divine intervention. Oh, there's a dead unit. That's a miracle dice and a command point for Bricky. I kind of feel like that was worth it, but maybe not. We want that hunter killer missile. Incoming reinforcements. One penitent engine there. We're gonna choose to take that whole flank. All that infantry, completely mulched. Flamers, heavy bolters, all the options, it's right there. Celestine and her girls are coming down. Hmm, where do they wanna go? Over here. Nick reacts with a zero command point rapid ingress. The bomber has arrived, hopefully to fly over something on his turn. Divine intervention with one wound remaining. We have a shooting phase ahead of us. More importantly, we have a flaming phase. But first, <laughs> round two. Don't get a one. We hit it. There you go. Oh, the sniper whiffs again. Oh no. Turn back away, you. <laughs> New York squad here was hit by a sniper shot. It did not wound, but it hit. Take a battle shock test. Oh, yes, indeed. Battle shot. They are shocked. Four hand flamers, D6 shots each. Fours it is. I see none of them. Bolt pistols on threes. Fours. I uh, say one, one goes through. One more. Killed another. D6 shots with the ardent blade. <laughs> Wounds on threes because of your guardian. You've killed three more. The Seraphim Squad's ability allows them to move six inches after firing. That's a beautiful. multi melt. Yes. Everything into the Devilfish. Threes. We will save a dice just in case we need to miracle it. Have some faith. Two wounds go through and the first one does. Four. Four damage. Okay, so that brings me down to uh, seven wounds remaining. We will take a six. Ooh. And we will Automatically. bring you down to one. Let's give ourselves a new miracle dice for the Cherub. This Penitent Engine will fire its flamers at the back squad in white. Nope. Fours with twin linked. What? Five up yellow paint from the ethereal. Oh my. I say one more, so two go through and you have damage this guy. Goodness and killed this guy. Flamer coming in at the red squad. 2d6 shots, wounding. Yeah. I know exactly how to deal with the devil fish. It's our favorite word. Grenades? Grenades! <laughs> Spending a command point on grenades here. He's down to one command point left. One four. Explosion! No. Oh. That same squad will fire upon the Tau currently on the objective. Bolters, they hit on twos. <gasps> All right. You have killed two more breachers. Junith, D6 shots with her twin Ministorum Flamer. Yeah. Guardian yeah. drone ain't nothing. It's a you killed both creatures and one wound off of the Condra Fireblade. My single cannon S here yeah. will cleanse. The backline mortifier will say, will fire its double heavy bolters into the stealth teams. Woo! Fours. And, oh. oh, two damage each. Ah, oh, wipes the squad, takes me off the objective. Oh. What is going on? 
This squad of Arcoflagellants will begin placing down the ritual objective here. You know, I'll fire at the, the white squad. Sure. Let's get it. Minus one to wound. wound. To get four ups. Save neither. If I'm a feel of pains, the first one dies, the second one dies. We're firing the whole payload directly at the flyer. D6 shots, fours, and see what we got. I will go ahead and Miracle Dice with a four to hit the last one. Threes. Okay. Five. I have eight wounds remaining. Heavy Bolter, threes. Sustain hits one. We're looking at fives to wound. Oh, it goes through. Two damage, 100 killer missile. It hits. Threes, it wounds. On a six. No. D6 damage, I already Miracle Dice, and I don't have a six Miracle Dice. God Emperor be with me. He's oh, with no us. He's oh, wow, the Sun Shark gets popped. Faith in the Emperor apparently is all it takes, folks. I did not expect him to kill it outright like that. Down to the wound. The amount of sixes this guy has rolled for damage. God. I mean, let's just say there's one faction that has faith and one that doesn't. And one's rolling really good on their Miracle Dice and one's rolling not so good on their damage. Is it correlated? Maybe, who knows? Cadre Fireblade. I'm charging. <laughs> let's begin. Junith is into combat. Spending a five and rolling a six to get the Palatine in. We shall drop down ourselves and discard one Miracle Dice. Doesn't matter what it is, just a Miracle Dice in general. This gives us Rapturous Blows. She has four attacks at 422, hitting on twos with lethal hits. Palatine with the Blade at St. Eleanor almost mercs that entire squad with the discarded Miracle Dice. I will take out my own Blade. Fours! Fours! On fours! The power that comes from this. How- <laughs> Miracle Dice. <laughs> Junith Yuruta with her Mace of Castigation. I'm alive with two wounds. Following up on this, we have four attacks with punching. Threes again. Four ups. Fails. Second one. Passes. One wound remaining. He fights you back. Oh. hi -ya! Oh. Slice. I do place a new objective. Bricky sits at 10 points to Nick's five. He scored both secondaries this turn. That's gonna be big as we head into Nick's turn two. Miracle dice. That's a three. Bricky now sits at two fours and a three on Miracle Dice. And Nick has drawn Deploy, Teleport Homer, and Cleanse. I now have no units on any objectives and I'm gonna score no primary points on my turn. This is gonna be tough but I know I can bounce back. In the movement phase, we are gonna fall back with this Cadre Fireblade, and then all these infantry are gonna run away as well. Oh, oh, oh. scary! As many as we move over here. Bricky overwatching with the mid-table squad, swapping out a Miracle Dice now at 4-3-3 and chewing away at that Breacher unit. 14 shots with Bolters, let's see those sixes. The Emperor continues. <laughs> All right, here we go. One. All right, you've killed two of the Breachers remaining. The Cadre Fireblade falls back with a desperate breakout and it fails. My Enforcer suit with a group of Crisis Suits. I've also got a Crisis Suit Commander. I'm gonna go onto your objective. Let's start off the festivities. Yes. Start right here. Now they're gonna use their one-shot secret missiles that I've been saving into there, plus their big guns. Tetra granting re-rolls into the Exorcist, but it's still up. We're not holding it in. We're not holding it in. We're, we're what the, was that? Just, that's so the amount of ones I've rolled for damage and wounding is just... Just need a minute. Just need a break. Do it. Can handle this? Down to six. Well, that was absolutely terrible. The worst rolls I could have done. One command point for Nick on grenades. Two command points left. On fours is more wounds. And please take one. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I will take one. So we're gonna fire this entire unit of crisis suits and the commander into this unit. They're gonna be guided by this Cadre Fireblade. Let's see it. Five ups. All right, the squad is dead. Can Celestine survive? Oh, Celestine is pasted, but that's a five and a one for Miracle Dice. He's got a one, two threes, a four and a five now. Before I go further, I do owe you a bucket full of hazardous tests. Three dice, three guns. He did not take any damage. Oh no, hazardous rolls, kills of crisis suits. 
You know, Nick's got command points. I'd be tempted to re-roll that. The Firesight Marksman will support into the organ gun. Hitting on twos. Eight. Into the Exorcist now and fails two. Miracles the third, and the Exorcist has two wounds remaining. You need to take hazardous tests? Yes. Take three wounds. Let's go with the railgun. This unit of strike team yes. is going to spot this suit right here. You're gonna be supported by this into the railgun, who is going to shoot his big giant gun here. He's got two side guns. They're gonna shoot at this unit right here of flagrants. Flagellant. You're gonna shoot at the flagellants. Damn it, I don't have my soundboard. Please add it in post. Uh, <laughs> Winning on a two, six is devastating wounds. Six plus D6 damage. Oh, the penitent engine dies, no explosion, but that is another three for Miracle Dice. So the accelerated burst cannons into this unit of flagrants. Flatulence. Flatulence. Uh, Four up, feel no pain. Fails. I kill one of them. No, you do not. Oh, they have multiple wounds? They have two wounds. Oh, okay, well, there's something. And then this unit, whole unit of fire warriors are gonna fire into this one wound model. This is gonna be exciting. It's so exciting, I'm gonna roll them one at a time. Yeah. Three up. <laughs> oh, the Palatine is down. But a Miracle Dice I do gain. So we have the Sky Ray. So he's going to fire his big giant missile rack right here. It's going to fire its side sponson into the wounded flagrants. Into the flagrants first. You've killed everything. And then wounds you. So we roll oh. the wound rolls. And that's another one. So Yay. let's see some sixes. None. Let's see some feel no pains. Quite a lot. Only one dies. And then it's the big giant missiles into there, and I better hit at least one of these. <laughs> Let's see it. I hit two of them. Threes. No. No. Get the box. <laughs> the Exorcist is down. But a Miracle Dice, I do gain a five. Fire start, Markson. So I, you know what? I'm going to shoot at this cannon S here. Let's see it. Hit once. I can't die. So four up. I fail. Right. Two damage. Oh, is this for Celestine? It is. So you're seeing if this angel lady comes back alive on a what? Two. Does Celestine resurrect? She does! <laughs> Celestine returns. Three more points for Nick on cleanse. That's gonna give him eight secondary points total. Three command points for Nick as he's discarded deploy Homer and one for Bricky. And we head to turn three. I need to make sure that in future turns, I deny his points because I need to score max primary in turn four and five. Cause I'm not gonna score any primary for this turn or next. For the most part, the organ being gone is a little scary, but I kept those reserves for a reason. Celestine is back. The right flank still has three engines in it. As far as I'm concerned, I think I just need to really tighten the noose right now. Secondaries, he's drawn overwhelming force and engaged in all fronts. He's got new miracle dice now. He's sitting at a one, a two, three threes, a four, three fives, and a six. 15 primary points sees him jump up to 25 to 8. Three command points to Nick's four. Yes, Battleshock, let us begin. Junith and- I would like you to fail us, please. I'm sure you yes! would. And you would be correct there, Battleshocked. Celestine, huh, one of her bodyguards comes back alive. <laughs> Movement phase, let's begin. We have an advance roll for this penitent engine. Can it advance a charge? It can. The Mortifiers will move themselves up. Flatulence, they will move up seven. Bring them up. Let them join the party. These girls over here. The Cannon S, true speed and power there. A six inch move for these girls right here. Taking the objective. And holding all three objectives. Holding all three. <laughs> So, Here comes Celestine. Celestine is making her way in. Overwatch! Okay. Celestine getting overwatched here. Nick's down to three command points. Overcharging, going for the kill. Wow, 10 wounds at minus two. We will save one just in case we might need that miracle dice. <laughs> We're going for the big play. What's the big play? We're going for the big play. What's the big play? The big play. A command reroll, using a four from his pool if he succeeds and she lives. All right, so you have to make this or you die. I have to make this or Celestine will perish. Oh, I love it! Just the end of her. No! What a big moment. Bricky down to two command points, and Celestine is gone. I get a miracle dice. <laughs> you do. A four. Let's bring in some reserves, shall we? Here come the Repentia. I love flamers. Everything is so good with flamers. Like this Penitent Engine about to burn your Crisis Commander with 2d6 shots with flamers. Fours to wounds. 
Uh, oh. But it is twin linked. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Commander is down. I am going to use his one special ability called Shield Breaker yeah. Round. No involves. No anything. D3 plus three damage. A fine chance. It, it, no, it's four damage. Oh, the Exodus Rifle takes that commander down to one wound left. The Mortifier will fire at the same Crisis Squad. On three, sustained hits. Fours. Two damage each, my friend. Down to four wounds with this lead Crisis Suit here. We will fire this one bolter. Hits. Wounds on a... Down to three over here. <laughs> All right, let's fire this Penitent Engine. Two D6 shots. Only five. Okay. Wounds on threes. On five up the bands. Two more guys off. One mm -hmm. and two. Fire multiple heavy bolters directly at the same white squad I just did, starting with this Mortifier. Begin with threes wounding on fours because of the minus one. AP ones. Ah, five ups. So you killed the squad? And you have brought the Ethereal down to two wounds. The final Mortifier into the Ethereal. Begin Mortifier. Threes. Threes. All right. Don't save it. Do damage. Kills him. All right, this squad in the center has some shooting to do. Everything into the this one unit. Nick spends a command point on go to ground. He's down to two. That's going to give him cover and a six up invuln. Threes. Uh, save all but one and you have Killed this guy, which now means the Guardian Drone is dead. The Heavy Bolts are then hitting on threes because of the plus one. Wounds on fours. All right, on a four. Save it. Very nice. He's alive! He did. And now a four and a Miracle Dice. Jeebus! All right, first things first, we have a Penitent Engine who needs to make a six or something in charge. Photon Grenade now for Nick. One command point left, trying to slow that Penitent Engine using a five on a Miracle Dice, and he rolls a five. He's in. Oh wow, what a charge phase turn three for Bricky. The engines of doom are in. The more fun one. Uh, we want the Repentia. They need to atone. So we'll take the six no. and we'll roll the three. No. Oh yes! No. Yes! Oh. Crap. Cannon S, get in there. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. You can you can come in. You're allowed. Hold on. Mid table squads doing some charging. Get a five. We're gonna. We're gonna, that's a technically a five, yeah, so I guess it does work, but um, it's not what I was really hoping for. What do you think about that guy? You think he's gonna make it? No, I'll take him off for you. Uh, take him off, With his one wound. Why are we talking like this like now? They're New Yorkers. <laughs> We're consolidating into both of these units, I tell you what. And let's punch the fire, boys. I don't think I got much going on here. Power weapon, two shots, hits on threes, got both, wounds on threes. Right on sixes. I got one, down to four. Canonist goes into the crisis suits, Bringing down to two command points for Holy Rage, two AP zeros, and Nick fails both. Okay, so I'm still alive with one wound. Got I know. It. Okay. Woo! My crisis suits are actually gonna pile in, get closer. Crisis suits punch back. Really no effect. What a turn three. Nick, my friend, I believe that I have uh, completed my turn. Bricky's jumped out to a huge lead here. He scores eight points on his secondaries. Out of command points, Nick has one, but he's 33 to eight. Start of next turn three, he scores no primary. He's got to start scoring quick or this game's going to run away from him. Sir. And then I'm going to draw two new objectives. Here, you draw for me this time. Excellent. Yeah, let's see. Assassination. Oh. oh that would have been good last turn. An overwhelming force. So Kayoon begins. Not just sustains, but a guided unit gets sustained too. These guys move 14. I'm going to move on to this objective right here. Fireblade is going to fall back around you and hold this objective. Starting with this unit of Crisis Suits. Understood. They're gonna shoot everything into this unit right here. They're gonna be guided by this unit of Tetris. Point blank ambush for one command point for Nick. Yeah, yeah. okay. See it. Commander two. Yeah, hell yeah. Freeze, wounding on twos. Sixes, baby. They die. <laughs> so it turns out, sustain hits when guided is pretty good. Sustain hits two is really good. I think I've made a path for turn four and turn five comeback. And more Miracle Dice for that massive death pile that Nick just created. Last command point, one command point to stand her back up at the end of the phase. Wow, that's a good deal. Two more Miracle Dice, five and a one. I am gonna go with this guy. Okay. He's actually gonna spot for this Sky Ray into this. Interesting. This doesn't interrupt his shooting, but he's going to shoot his big guns over here. All right, so on a three, hitting into this Mortifier. Let's see it. I need a two to wound. 
He does have a built-in reroll. He does. Wound roll. So he's gonna use it right now. Uh, he, you'll never reroll a one into a one. Oh, ah! God! Ah! Sky Ray's firing. Sky Ray. Three shots from his big gun into those guys over there. Ah. Ah. And then to wound. So let's hope we're good. We're not good. D6 plus one damage. It just, it <laughs> dies, yes. Uh, and then I will uh, four up the other one. So we lose a Battle Sister squad and we gain a Miracle Dice for doing so. The Firesight Marksman okay. guiding into the big giant tower guy. Both broadsides are going into the Mortifier engine. The big gun. All four drones are gonna go into the Repentia. Repentia. Four shots hitting on threes from the big giant guns. Let's see it. All right. 13 or 14? Yeah, twos. No, yeah, this might matter. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. That doesn't matter much. Uh, Deli Demise. No. Okay. Miracle Dice. Yes. Three. And then all the missiles into the Repentia over there. Uh, strike seven. Strike seven. Twos. Oh, okay. We will use a four. Four ups until she dies. A four up. She dies. No, no, that is the squad. Give me oh. a miracle dice. It's a two. Then lastly, my fire start marksman is going to try to kill this one character on the objective. Let's see it. Yeah. Uh, and it's one. Four up invul. No. Two damage. Down to one. All right, so at the end of the turn, we still have some combats to do. I do, and I am most certainly choosing these Christ suits. Makes sense. We have five attacks with my cannoness with our chain sword. We're hitting on twos. We're gonna use a five automatically for a miracle dice to wound with one and hope for fives on the others. One more. Fight face now, and the cannoness kills a crisis suit. Arco flagellants, we're gonna activate their extremist trigger words. Six attacks They're each. Trigger words? They're trigger words. Wounds on uh, sixes, of course, but we get twin linked as well. Whoopsie daisy, there we are. <laughs> Which goes through. One damage. Three miracle dice brings the cannonist back with three wounds. Nick manages 10 points on secondary, 33 to 18, as we head to Bricky's turn four. Five points on primary for Bricky. He's pulled Storm Hostile Objective and Secure No Man's Land. Both players should have two command points. There's a Battleshock test I need to take here. Yes. Now this is a big Battleshock test. If you fail this, you don't hold this objective, scoring zero on primary. Yes. Because all the other Battle Sisters have been removed. And that is a three. Let's make some waves up in here. Nick overwatches with Crisis Suits. She dies, but she's going to be coming back at the end of phase because she hasn't stood back up yet. She's instead going to run and hide behind here. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Penitent Engine, backfield objective, get the flamer, get the points, get the secondary. Everything needs to go up and everything needs to start hitting. Hitting well, eh, but hitting regardless. Meltas, lots of them, into your Tetras. Oh, the Tetras have gone down. Uh, they could explode, actually. Ooh. One explodes, oh. dealing one mortal wound. Junith Yuruta is going to go ahead and fire her flamer. D6 shots, two, win linked. What is more what is more sisters than bathing in holy fire? Why do I keep failing? Down to four wounds on this crisis suit here. We will fire some heavy bolters into the same. This is 12. But it has sustained one. Sixes, however. Down to 10 wounds of rating over here. She's gonna take a plasma pistol and just <laughs> BAM! Wounds on a two. Yep. Don't save it. One damage. Okay, down to two. With that, let's go ahead and do a little bit of charges, shall we? The cannon S. She go in. Bricky's charge phase now, and here comes the farm. Seven is charge into the sky right here. And then immediately we use a six miracle dice to make it instant. I am gonna charge with this one and... One, C, P, tank, shock. Tank shocking the devilfish, two mortals. Now, let's get into some stabbing, shall we? With the cannon S, we know we want to have her get her time into some. Oh, dead Kadra Fireblade. The Mortifier into the Hammerhead. We are hitting on threes with sustained one. Fours. On sixes. Down to four wounds remaining. Now the other Mortifier, same shindig. We love it. And then we are wounding on fours as well. Sixes. Nope. Down to 10 wounds remaining on the Skyray. Gunships and stuff. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Gunship hits you once. All right. Uh, fails. Hey, you take one wound. The other Arco Flagellants are going to hit you. Fours. Hazardous rolls. We got one. Oh no, feel the pains. Oh, killed one. <laughs> My cannon is over there. <laughs> Twos, fives. 
Uh, save one, one goes through. One damage. One damage, down to three. And a turn four, Brookie scores 10 more points on secondary, both Storm Hostile and Secure No Man's Land. 28 secondary, 20 primary, 48 points to Nick's 18. This is in trouble. Nick has got about a heretic's chance. This is a long shot, but it's not out of reach. Investigate signals. Okay. <laughs> and secure no man's land. I'm gonna spend two command points to get rid of investigate signals. New orders. Bring it down and secure no man's land. Here we go. He's gotta get on objectives or he's gonna lose the game. My secondary draws aren't great, but I need to score them. I have to, and I'm still not scoring any primary. That's gonna kill me. I need to move up with my broadside. Yes, it's time. Farsight, I'm gonna advance with him. Let's see it. Get on the objective. That is three inches away and five inches up. They're gonna shoot into there. They're gonna guide the broadsides as they fire into the Meltas, but they will split fire into the Meltas and the, t and the vehicle. But the crisis dudes are gonna fire into combat. Also that. Just to make it complicated. The guided unit right here, let's fire this. That is a wound and it's devastating. Plus one. Seven wounds. Seven wounds. How is that five up feel no pain treating us right now? <laughs> Very well, it lives with one. Oh no! And then the missiles from the drones into there. Okay. Retributor squad takes a death. Judith is getting shot now. She's dead. Miracle dice tally is at a one, a two, four threes and a five. There's another one for him on Miracle Dice. I need to overcharge this one too, unfortunately, and I hate it, but I need to do it. This is way more shots than I started with. Two, four ups. Uh, she's dead. The suits succeed at hazardous rolls. That is huge. He needs them. Skyward's gonna fire first. He's gonna fire his side guns that are out of line of sight at this one wound ball right here. Understood. Big giant missile rack into the mortifier engine. The side spawns it into the one wound character right here. I need to kill it. Or Lorbius. Uh, so I hit you once. It wounds! It wounds! Now fail Let's the save! Let's go! No. Oh, right, Miracle Dice. Ooh, the mortifiers are doing work and Nick can't kill them. Hammerhead into the other mortifier engi engine. Side into the one wound mortifier engine. There are hits. Finally, one goes down. There we go, guys. Five. And then the railgun shot into the other mortifier engine here. <laughs> hits. All right. And then it wounds at D6 plus six. Not a terrible roll. Not enough. Miracle. High five. And if I can sink this charge, I will get Secure No Man's Land. Oh yeah, 11. Oh, yes. All right, so charging in with the Crisis Suit Commander. Five, six, seven, either way, Perfect. I'm in. Kaboom. Bricky overwatches from his penitent engines. Both suits at one wound left, but no command points. That could be big. Combat needs to go my way, strangely. The charging model here. Yes. So three hits from the commander as he charges in. Commander wounds once, the Crisis Suit fails, and the Miracle Dice saves him. The broadsides. A twos. No joy in the mid table either. Well, okay, well that's the end of my charges. Let's go ahead to the penitent engine over there. Fives and re-rolling. Uh, hammerhead crushes into the four ups. Ah, uh, lives with one. Flagellant will go with next then in that case. Six attacks on three is five because we're super wounded. Beautiful twin linked. Down to two wounds. Down to two. 10 more points on secondaries for Nick. 48-28 as we head to Bricky's turn five. So I've kept him off primaries for most of the game. I'm getting barely any points at all, but he also isn't either, but he's turn two and he can really spike primaries at the end. I need to get these secondaries done and I need to delay, delay, delay. Things, everything into his boats hold back his crisis suits, hold as much as I can, dot it around the battlefield, and just hopefully wipe him off where I can. All right, so turn five. Battle shock, very important. Yep. We have two battle shock targets here and here. You know what, I might want to use strategy on him. So I will take this five and I will roll the other. It's a five. Yes, that gal will definitely need a battle shock test. She fails. Battle shocked. We need a miracle dice that we gain, a two. You have behind enemy lines. Oh, very doable for you, you already have it. That is a bit doable. Uh, and extend battle lines. Arco Flagellants have a seven inch move, so, you know. Broadside's overwatching into the moving Arco Flagellants. He's out of command points. Penitent Engine will flame everything you know and love. Okay. 2d6 shots, winning on fours, now to threes, but twin linked. Oh wow, a dead suit. A singular bolt pistol. From here? Yes. Yeah. 
We need a, a two, honestly. Yeah. The miracle dice wounds the suit. <laughs> All the mouths listen to that. Yeah. Threes! Threes here to right. wound, made two. We will miracle dice the last. No sixes. Six, eight wounds each. It's down to seven. Kills you one. killed one of them. One of them dies. One of them dies. Charge face. Arco flagellants into the mid table. Boom, what a charge. Let's let's fight. All right, into the fire sight marksman. Hits on fours with sustained. Oh, one dead marksman. I will consolidate onto the objective. All right. I need to go with this commander first. Hits you once. Oh, the suit commander has failed. Yeah, the broadside might as well go in there. Three hits into your guy there, and wounds you once. One, oh, so uh, three up, fails, takes, takes a wound. One damage down to one. Hammerhead's gonna try to kill this one wound guy here. <laughs> once, that's all I need. Wound it! Wounded it. Oh, I need a four up, feel no Don't pain. Do it! Ah! No! He does die. Deny you points. And a miracle ice. Oh. A six. Six. The Imagifier. Three attacks. Miracle wound on the Enforcer, and it lives! Eight more points for secondary for Bricky. He's going to end the game with 36 secondary and 20 primary. That's 56 points. Nick sits at 28. I'm not sure if Nick can catch at this point. Everything has to come up Millhouse. Well, there's only one thing left to do, and it's a Hail Mary to see if I can bring this game home. There is a path forward. There is a chance here. If I can get on every single objective by the end of my turn, control three objectives with score 15 points, and complete both of my secondaries, I can turn this game around. So start my turn, command point. Storm hostile objective, and engage in all fronts. The only way I can get engaged in all fronts is I have to fall back with this unit and fall back with this unit. Yes. The only way to do it. So I'm gonna fall back to here. Are you gonna overwatch me? I am gonna overwatch you, but a twist of fate. I will not overwatch you with my flamers, but instead my melters. One, six. That's all you need. How many dice are in that box? Uh, four, five, six, seven. Right. I said eight. You said eight? Well, you rolled it on the dice then. Oh! Uh, it was all set up! It, it was, was all set, set up. up! We make our own faith! Which means two wounds on threes! And they both wound! You need four up, sir. You make this right now. A heads coin flip into a heads coin flip. You them, dear. It is, oh no. I don't know if that's All right, well with that, he dies. It means my gamble to get the objectives fails. I can't get an engaged all fronts. I can't get enough primary points, which means despite me even moving here to get an additional five points here, means I will only score five more points, putting my game far behind yours. Good game, well man. Done. That's it, that's all, folks. That was the chance, and he's done. 66-38 in favor of this episode's victor, Bricky. Well what? done, and you have more than earned these victory dice. Yes, sir. fantastic. Thank well you done. very well much. Done. I you really had Nick out thinking himself, sir. Well played, and Nick, better luck next time. Those miracle dice really were the death of you. Thanks to this episode's sponsor, GameMat.eu. We absolutely love their ready-to-play-with terrain and high-quality neoprene mats. Make sure to check them out at the link below. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind-the-scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40k community around. That's it for us here in the Playon Studios, folks. On behalf of all of us, this is JT, the voice of Playon, saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on. That was a serious nail-biter. It was down to the wire. Second turn always has those big spikes and points at the end. The towel shooting was really hurting. Everything was delaying. But, you know, enough Miracle Dice, enough usages here and there. It was really damn close. A fantastic game of 40K where all these tiny minutia really matters. Thanks so much for coming on the channel, Bricky. We enjoyed having you here, and I can't wait to see you again. I hope you come up, up again. Maybe the when the Codex for the Sisters drops, maybe you come play again, and we have a rematch? This is fantastic. This is a great setup. There's so much stuff. The terrain, the lighting, this is the whole thing. The armies, fully painted. It, look, it looks great. The nice combo between still being a real game, but still having that, that old 40K flavor, the, the real story being told. It was, it was fantastic. Thank you so much for having me.